Anthony Muscolino started seeing me about nine and a half years ago when I first started here at Loyola and he comes in like clockwork. He comes in every six months uh, for the last couple of years and he makes his follow-up appointment right before he leaves. You often hear bedside manner. I think she's absolutely the best at that. She's a great listener, number one. Uh, I feel like I'm her only patient when I'm in her room and I'm sure all of her patients do. A year ago he came in just kind of complaining of a lot of vague symptoms. She asked me how I was feeling. I told her I was feeling tired, sluggish. Uh, I'd go up my steps at my home and I was on like breathing heavy. That prompted me to actually do a stress test on him which was very abnormal. That day or Saturday I get a phone call from her that I want you to see Dr. Lowell Steen in the cardiology department. Dr. Steen was calling him on a Sunday of all things. The patient was very surprised that he had a call on Sunday and he had his angiogram first thing Monday morning. And fortunately, uh, we did that because we caught a left anterior descending uh, main lesion. So they call it the widow maker because if you get a heart attack in that spot, you tend not to survive the heart attack. Tuesday at eight o'clock, my wife and I are set up at Maywood for surgery. So here we go, I ended up getting a stent in my heart and from what I understand, after the fact, uh, it wasn't in a pretty place. And he didn't realize how sick he was until he went in and then uh, when the cardiologist told him, you know, this could have killed you at any time, um, he was pretty shocked and his whole family went through a big shock as well. Dr. Dulopolsky is a point person for me because, uh, you know, my referrals come from her. I don't go shopping for a doctor. I don't have to do that. I'm not looking. I mean, she is my go-to person. 